Math 171, Module 1, The Vertical and Horizontal Line Test. In this question, we are given graphs, and we are asked, are the relations shown below functions? And if so, are the relations one-to-one -one functions? Let's begin with the question that asks if they are functions. There is a test we can do to find out if they are functions, and it's called the Vertical Line Test. For the vertical line test, we examine the graph of each relation and see if there is a way to draw a vertical line that would cross through the graph twice. Let's start with the graph on the left. We can see if we draw a vertical line through here, it crosses only one time in this position where I've placed the star. And if you examine the rest of the graph, we can see that no matter where I draw my vertical line, it will only ever cross one time. So we can say that this graph passes the vertical line test. Therefore, we say that this relation is a function. Now to answer the second question, is this relation a one-to-one -one function? To check if the relation is also one-to-one, -one, we must also do the horizontal line test. For the horizontal line test, we see if there is any horizontal line that can cross through the graph twice. If we draw a horizontal line here, we can see that the line crosses through the graph twice, once here on the left and once here on the right. Because it crosses twice, we can say that this relation fails the horizontal line test. Therefore, although it is a function, it is not one-to-one. -one. Let's try this again with the graph on the right. If we attempt to draw a vertical line, we can see there are many places on this graph where it would cross through twice. The vertical line I've just drawn crosses once on the top and again on the bottom. Therefore, we can say this fails the vertical line test. Therefore, this relation that I've drawn on the right is not a function at all. We can stop right now and say, because it's not a function, it is impossible for this to be one-to-one. -one. You may at some point in this course run into some unusual looking graphs that have jumps or discontinuities in them. It is possible for these to be a function as well. Let's first look at the graph on the left. Is that relation a function? Let's perform the vertical line test once again. We can see over most of the graph, if we draw a vertical line, it will only cross through the line one time in this position. The only point of doubt is in the middle, where you could draw a vertical line that crosses through both this open circle and a closed circle. Although it appears that you would fail the vertical line test based on this, this open circle doesn't count against you. The open circle represents a gap, where the function doesn't actually exist at that open circle, but it does exist at the closed circle in this position. Therefore, this vertical line that I've drawn on the left only crosses through the function once at the closed circle, and the open circle doesn't count. Therefore, we can say that this picture passes the vertical line test. Therefore, it is a function. However, there are a number of places where we could draw a horizontal line that would cross through twice. If we drew one here through the middle, we can see that there are two places where that horizontal line would cross through the graph. Therefore, 
This function will fail the horizontal line test. Therefore, it is not one-to-one. -one. Although it is possible to draw a horizontal line far above that would cross through only once, as long as it is possible for it to cross twice, that means you failed the test and the function would not be one-to-one. -one. On the right side, we have a graph that is also an example of a graph that has discontinuities. For most of the graph, you could draw a vertical line that would cross through only one time, such as this vertical line. However, look toward the center of the graph. There is a vertical line that is possible to draw that crosses through two closed circles. Now because you have passed through two closed circles, that means you have crossed the function twice. Therefore, this is not really a function at all because you have failed the vertical line test. Therefore, there's no reason to give it the horizontal line test because it's already failed the vertical test. We can safely say that it's not a function at all based on the place where it's failed the vertical line test here at these two stars I've drawn.